A blessed morning, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to Carmelite Monastery. Today, the second Sunday of October, we are celebrating the solemnity of the Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary, the second patroness of the Diocese of Bacolod. In her youth, Mary was obedient to the will of the Father, and the Father was well pleased of her. May we also become God's beloved in our being obedient to God as one church, journeying together towards a life of holiness. Today is also Indigenous People's Sunday and Extreme Poverty Day. We are reminded that the Lord is present in peoples who appear different from the majority. We may be surprised to know that the indigenous peoples and the poorest of the poor are rich in values regarding life and reverence to the Creator. Poverty and our indigenous brethren have much to teach us. As indicated in the circular letter number 2022.021, there will be a second collection in support of the programs of the Catholic Bishops Conference of the Philippines Episcopal Commission on Indigenous Peoples. Let us now rise and welcome our Lord Jesus Christ in the person of his minister, Reverend Father Roy Christian Hisulgon. the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. We say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done, what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen.
let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The faithfulness of our Blessed Mother to the mission of our Lord is clearly presented in this reading, in her constant presence and care of the disciples of our Lord. Today, we continually experience her presence as mother of the church. The first reading. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus has been taken up to heaven, the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the Mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem a Sabbath day's journey away. When they entered the city, they went up to the upper room where they were staying. Peter and John, James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All this devoted themselves with one accord to prayer together with some women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
God justifies those whom He foreknew and has predestined to share the image of His Son. Those whom He called will also share His glory. The second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Sisters and brothers, we know that all things work for good for those who love God, who are called according to His purpose. For those He foreknew, He also predestined to conform in the image of His Son, so that He might be the firstborn among many brothers. And for those He predestined, He also called, and those he, he called, he also justified, and those he justified, he also glorified. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all rise. of the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over his house the house of Jacob forever, and of the kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, the whole diocese celebrates the feast of Our Lady, uh, second patroness of the diocese, under her title, Mary, uh, Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary. And so we thank the Lord no, for the gift of Mary to the Diocese of Bacolod, for she is truly our mother, and she gave us a very important devotion by which we can also draw strength from, and that is the rosary. I hear from a lot of people that when at times they cannot sleep, no, they pray the rosary. And I can't uh, but uh, in a sense now find um, inspiration in that because what causes us at times not to fall asleep or the anxieties of life, no? the problems that uh, we have to encounter daily. And so that 
anxious spirit had to experience a level of calmness, a level of peace. And it's good that we, by grasping the beads of the rosary, also find peace, given the meditation, the contemplation of the life of Our Lady and, of course, her son, Jesus. The rosary as a powerful prayer, the rosary that anchors us in the history of salvation. The beads are very important since human as we are, we need something to hold on to, something that is tangible for us. No? Kanami blas ang idiomatic expression, no? Kinanglad may kinakaputan kita, no? Kay samasami, no? Or old people would say, Te ano yung kinakaputan mo? Labi nigit sa chimpo sang mga problema ka mga pagtilao. So kanami nga may kinakaputan. And we can't, uh, help it because human as we are we need something that is tangible to hold on to as we move and find meaning in all of the things that are happening uh, in us uh, in life and this is very powerful a prayer because it makes tangible the mysteries of salvation they are stories that are actually passed on from one generation to the next and in that, we can see Mary as the personification of the hope that people who came before her have in their hearts that God will truly fulfill His promise and He will send a Savior. Beautiful, no? Ang tao nga nag-hope, kayo balo nga, wala pa na nag-abot, di na paabot ko pa. But you know, that sense of hope also gives us a sense of assurance. God will fulfill His promise. So each time also when you touch the beads of your rosaries, hopefully you experience a sense of peace that comes from a hope that God will truly be there for you in the highs and lows of life. I like our gospel for today on the Feast of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary because here the gospel presents to us an encounter. An encounter between two important uh, personages. One, God sends His angel. And the angel is named, may ngala ng angel, and his name is Gabriel. And the other person in this encounter is Mary a simple person and in most of the art depiction of the Annunciation she is depicted at prayer because it's an encounter between Gabriel and Mary interestingly when you do some research the word Gabriel means God is my strength. Beautiful. And the word Maryam comes from the Hebrew word and even an Egyptian word which means one who is fragrant. Siguro mo na ikong kapangadi katido ka hamot sa ginoo. One who is fragrant. But at the same time, there's also a, a name that is attached to Mary a title that is also attached to her name because Miriam comes from the word also Iyam, which in e Egyptian means the sea. No? Magkanto ka sa Holy Land, makakabisita ka to sa monasteryo sa mga aton kauturan nga mga Carmelita. Kag ka namin dito kay sa lugar nga na ara ka sa babaw na siling kundain ng kuweba ni Elijah. No? Kung sa dinakita ni Elijah, from the book of Kings, ang gamay nga panganod, a cloud hovering over the sea. And as such, the title is attributed to Mary, Star of the Sea. What does the title mean? Hope. Hope. Kung so, makita ko sa panganod, dito, sa kadagatan, nagasiling ka, ah, may hope nga magulan. You know the story, of Elijah and the drought and how the people prayed to God for rain, beautiful, star of the sea,
that little cloud hovering over the sea. My dear friends, I want us to meditate on this. Gabriel as God's strength and Mary as a personification of hope. Because that is our story and that is the story of the rosary. Salvation is all about people anticipating the coming of the fulfillment of God's promise. And here, humanity is anxious. Humanity is afraid. But humanity is also hopeful. Hindi ba lang mong manang atong istorya sa kabuhi? We are afraid, anxious, yet hopeful. And what assuades us what gives us peace? Then comes the presence. Gabriel, God is our strength. Beautiful. In the Gospel of Luke, the initial reaction of Mary is described by Luke. Because Mary, upon seeing Gabriel, was troubled. Diba? situation. The problems, realities of life causes us turmoil. Most of the time, we are also troubled. But here comes the presence of God that makes us realize God is our strength. And so the message of the angel to Mary is, Mary, do not be afraid. For nothing is impossible with God. Beautiful. God comes to us in our experience of anxiety and the troubles of life. And how beautiful it is that when Mary appears, for example, in so many instances in the history of the world, she gives us the rosary. A rosary that also gives us so much assurance and peace. I like our first reading taken from the Acts of the Apostles because it is descriptive of the role of Mary. We see the Apostles inside the upper room. Naatuto sila kaysa kay sila pananago. Nanaga pinanago sila kay nahadlok sila. Again, the theme of the human reality of being fearful, anxious, tensed. Oh. And in that situation, you have a figure of hope at prayer, at that beautiful. Mary praying with the apostles. Ah, munagali. Mary praying with and for us. My dear friends, in this feast of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary, we thank the Lord for our mother, who from the beginning, in the face of fear and the unknown, she was reminded by God, God will be your strength who from the beginning of the early church was there to strengthen the apostles of the upper room, she was with them in prayer. And until now, she is the same Mary with her rosary that prays and accompanies the church. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of this mother. She is truly our example and our sure hope with her rosary may we cling to her in prayer and by her supplication may you grant the graces that we ask for holy mary our mother pray for us amen let us now rise and profess our faith I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one, Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father for all ages, God from God, light from light, 
true God from true God, begotten and made consubstantial with the Father. To Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate and became man. And became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom, kingdom will have, have no, end. no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in the one holy Catholic and apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And as the forward the resurrection of the dead, and the light of the world to come. Amen. Through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, with confidence we approach our Lord God, who is our provident Father. And so we say, through the intercession of the Virgin of the Holy Rosary, hear us, O Lord. Through the intercession of the Virgin of the Holy Rosary, hear us, O Lord. For the people of God, the church that through their maternal teaching and care we follow and live the virtues of our blessed mother virgin mary as guide in attaining life everlasting we pray through the through intercession the of the virgin, of the, virgin of, the of the holy rosary hear, hear us, us o lord for all leaders of nations that service with humility and wisdom and the preference for the protection of life stand over and above against pride and their desire to amass wealth and power in the world. We pray. Through the intercession of the Virgin of the Holy Rosary, hear us, O Lord. For every family who prays together the Holy Rosary, that they may continue to be united and strengthen in their faith against the forces that threaten to destroy its holiness. We pray. Through the, Through the intercession of the Virgin of the Holy Rosary, hear us, hear us, O Lord. For those who are suffering because of severe poverty, sickness, war, and natural calamity, that behind the darkness they can see a light as they remain steadfast and hopeful in the Lord, we pray. Through the intercession of the Virgin of the Holy Rosary, hear us, O Lord. For our Christian communities, that devotion to the Holy Rosary deepens our understanding of the salvation brought about by our Lord, strengthen our faith like the early Christian communities, and make us more caring and closer to one another and to God. We pray. Through the, Through the intercession of the Virgin of the Holy Rosary, hear us. In the silence of our hearts, we also pray for the needs of our families. We pray. Through the intercession of the Virgin of the Holy Rosary, hear us, O Lord. We also pray for Bishop Buzon and the rest of the clergy of the Diocese of Bacolod, especially as they prepare for their upcoming annual clergy retreat on October 17 to 21. We pray to the Lord. Through the intercession of the Virgin of the Holy Rosary, hear us, O Lord. O loving Father, listen to our prayers through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, Virgin Mary, who under the title Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, a second patroness of this diocese. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
Please all rise. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may be rightly conformed to these offerings we bring, and so honor the mysteries of your only begotten Son, as to be made worthy of his promises, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voice as we pray Join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Indeed, holy o Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of
cross is held by the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Patricio, our Bishop, Vicente, our Bishop Emeritus, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, Saint Sebastian, Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, Saint Pedro Alonso, Saint Teresa of Avila, Saint Teresa of the Child Jesus, Saint John of the Cross, all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. The Savior's command and informed by divine teaching, we now call upon God, our Father. grant peace in our days by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ Christ said to apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace.
Friends, behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. Amen. For those who are joining our live stream celebration, let us now pray the spiritual communion prayer. O oh my Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the blessed sacrament. I love you and I desire you to come into my heart. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, O never leave me. May the burning and most sweet power of your love consume me, that I may die for you who died for love of me. Amen.
Please all rise. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord our God, that just as we proclaim in this sacrament the death and resurrection of your Son, so being made partakers in his suffering, we may also merit a share in his consolation and his glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Prayer of the Synod. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name, with you alone to guide us. Make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And so in the face of anxieties of life, let our hope be Mary's hope, and let our strength be Gabriel's strength, strength that comes from God, who promises us nothing is impossible with him. I'll now give the blessing. Let's have first the insensation of the image of Our Lady. Kindly be seated for a while. You are all lovingly invited to the Triduum of Masses and Feast of Our Holy Mother, Saint Teresa of Avila, or Saint Teresa of Jesus. The Triduum of Masses will begin on October 12 and until October 14. The feast day is on October 15. Our Mass will be at 6.30 in the morning. Thank you and God bless us all. Please all rise. The Lord be with you. 
and will your spirit. Bow your heads to receive God's blessings. May God do through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you who have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Eucharist has been offered. Let us go and be faithful sons and daughters of the Blessed Virgin. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.